Hallelujah, glory be to God. It's based on what Jesus did for you. Amen? Amen. 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 So, could the disciples them boast in themselves too highly or uplift themselves beyond the measure that they are to? Yes, I believe that happened. The reason, the reason why I believe they, they did that, why? Because the Bible said, the Bible said that Peter and John, they had some kind of fight on who going to be in charge after Jesus go. Who going to serve the right? Who going to be in charge? Talk to me, someone. Talk to me. Amen. I'm preaching good now. Amen. Because a lot of times that's what we have to be careful of that spirit because that spirit will be cause you becomes powerless mm -hmm. because you go open the doors that you can exercise your gift. Because yeah. yeah. the Bible says, man, give, make room for him and bring him before the Great man. So my gift open rooms. So you also need somebody that will give you that liberty. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So your gift can make room for you. But at the gift making room for me, I gotta, I gotta remind myself that the same gift that makes room for me, uh -huh. it is the same gift that if I misuse it, yes. can turn the opposite. Jesus. So I gotta keep myself humble. I, 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 I know that it was not just by might that I'm doing what I'm doing, Amen. but it's by his spirit that I'm doing what I'm doing. Amen. It's not by my capability to, to, to function in the word of God and, and go to scriptures and know it's not. It's because of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the Bible says that he will bring all things to my remembrance. So at the end of the day, when I look at me and I see myself as John saw himself Jesus. out of the way and Christ must come. come what, what John said. John said I must do, I must what? Depart it. That he that comes after me, come on, so I got to get out of the way. I got to get out of the way. And as long as you are in the way, you will become dysfunction. Even though you have the information, you pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command this to go. And ain't nothing moving, ain't nothing going. It's not that. It's not like you're not speaking the right word. Yes, you're speaking the right word. But you're not connected to love. Because if I connect to the Christ, I connect him to love. So their, their problem was in, 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 in love and unbelief. Unbelief has got to happen when love is not functioning. A guppy love. I'm talking about a guppy love. I'm talking about human love. There's two types of love. There's human love and there's a guppy love. Human love have, in other words, have a, 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 a level of, amen. They only can love you, amen, more. They can't love you based on their level of love for you. Yeah, it's amen. And so it, 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 we have a measure of love when we love in our own self. I love you with a measure. It means that I can change yeah. in a minute. You say the wrong word, I can change. Yeah. Talk to me because that's, that's human love. I can change. And so I can love, I can love him more than I love you. Yeah. Because that's pastoral love, that's, that's not a, that's not a lovely love. And so a lot of times, and this is what happened, this is what happened. That's why we cannot, in church, cannot develop favoritism. Uh -huh. Because if I develop favoritism, means that, that means I, I can, you might not want to say it, that means you more love this one more than you love that one, but then you're a child of God. How that is possible, I'm a child of God, and, I'm, and I have favoritism where, where I'm loving you more than I'm loving you, and when I be, need to be loving all of y'all the same. Amen? Amen. Amen. And that's what caused my prayer to be, amen, not effective when I'm praying, because God knows, like, amen, amen, my love is not, it's, 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 it's not, it's not a guppy love, it's not a love that come from God. But my love based on my human ability to feel. Right. So I, I love people by feelings. Yeah. And my sense to be wrong because I can feel a certain way and not love you. Come on somebody, amen? amen. Based on my feelings. Talk to me somebody. Amen. Amen? amen? And that's why we have a lot of problems in relationship. Yes, yes sir. A lot of problems in relationship. Amen. Even after we pray for it and it's still going down. 
What's the problem? I'm praying the word and why this ain't excelling? No love. No love. You see what I'm saying? So when there's love, unbelief comes in. And so even though I'm memorizing the word, but I don't believe what I'm saying. Talk to me somebody. Amen? Hallelujah. And so human love, human love, human love, you have to, amen, pretty much perform. Amen. amen. You have pretty much perform because, amen, and that's why, amen, I tell my daughters them that, amen, you don't love a, 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 a guy because what he can give you as material, that is not the reason why you love them. Amen. And I says, what you look for in the guy, you look, are we have a purpose because the purpose is more greater than his possessing whatever he can give you because if he can give you the car you might think because he give you the car he love you yep. if he give you the house you think oh he love me so what he does he buy love trying to my buy God. your feelings oh, my Lord. by gifts mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now he's giving he's giving it and sooner or later He's going to get tired because why? That is human effort. Amen. Human effort get tired. And when we get when we get tired, we just start. Because yeah. I can't afford this love. This love and relationship too expensive. Okay. Glory be to God. Amen. And see, because why? That's the wrong. That's the worldly kinds of love. Love is what they can give you. Well, if he give you or he got a no, he don't love you because he give you something. That's right. Glory be to God. I need to lay hands on all of them women some, or them guys them who think because they get something from a, 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 a man or a girl or woman, they love you. That don't mean they, that don't mean a thing. He can give you something all day if he got it. That don't mean he love you. Because hey man, we was miss, we was miss, we we misinterpreted love, amen, amen, by the way the people them showing their kindness. But we forget that love is unconditional. A copy love, a love, conditional love, where even though I'm not even performing on my best level, yes. you still gotta love me like you loved me before. Amen. Your love cannot change if it's from God. Yes. Human love is nothing like that. If you ain't giving it to me, I ain't giving you no my love. Come on, somebody, look at them selfish love. That's true, man. Nothing from nothing left, nothing. I'm not, come on. So that, that is human love. A lot of times the church is trying to, the church, you, you know, we gotta be, we have to be careful that we don't fall in these kinds of trap where human love, we trying to use human love to bring fulfillment to us when you need God love. Amen. You're searching for the wrong love. Amen. Glory be to God. You're searching for the wrong love. Amen. Glory be to God. Because at the end of the day, my beloved sisters and brothers, you can never find somebody that love you for you. Good God. Talk to me, somebody. It is so hard to find somebody to tolerate what you do. Talk to me. I'm talking to your good stuff. I'm talking to the bad part of you. Oh, yeah, God. You need somebody that love you to supersede the bad part and just continue to remind themselves about the good part. Amen. Some of y'all say, well, I'm a Christian. Some of y'all still got bad behavior. Amen. Amen. I care how saved you think you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Some bad behavior in us every now and then. There's yeah, some bad behavior somewhere. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So it ain't, not, it ain't not how long you've been saved, how long I've been spiritual. I've been walking with the Lord 25 years. That's the remain that you have been delivered. Amen. Purely from bad behavior. Come on. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. So the disciples didn't have love. And if you don't have love, you can't give love. Amen. Love calls you to connect to the person. Hallelujah. Talk to me. Amen. How can I connect to what you feel if I don't have love for you? I wanna, oh, my Jesus. God. Jesus. Jesus. Because my love for you caused me to come down to your level and to bring you up. You see what I'm saying? Overlooking all of your mess and bringing you to a place in Christ that you need to do. And that's what God did. That's what the Lord did. That's what the Lord did. That's what the Lord did. Amen. Amen. And so and so and so when we when when we uh talks about love, we are talking from love, we must describe love not only from the human point of view, because the human point of view is the temporary love. You know when people say, Well, 
I want you to love him. I was in love, but now I love no more. I love you, but I ain't in love. What kind of craziness, darling? How the world you can be in love? To be in, in to true love means to be in Christ Jesus. And if you're in Christ Jesus, amen, the only way you will start hating me is when you come out of him. Amen. Talk to me, somebody, amen? Yes. You can't be in him and still hate me. Amen. I don't care if I get on your last nerve. You just God. God, 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 give me grace. So I can pray for pastor without getting angry. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. Yes. So his disciples is walking with God and then have love. A lot of times we try to pray and agree uh, on Bible sickness. And then everybody in here and everybody here supposed to have the guppy love. But everybody in here not, doesn't have a guppy love. Amen. Amen. And we said, we said, we sanctify, we fill with the Holy Ghost. How in the world I say about sanctify, fill with the Holy Ghost. On oh, my way to heaven, I ain't got no love. Talk to me. I wish I had somebody to talk to me. Amen. Come on. I talk this gospel truth. Yeah. You know what? If I was talking about prosperity, you would have been jumping and jumping. And, hey, what do you mean? If I say, the call is coming. Thank you. The Holy Ghost. Come on, some of y'all are running the Holy Ghost. Even when the Holy Ghost ain't touching you. Now I'm talking about real love, general love, God love. Come on, love it all. I would suffer long. Go and be the God. Hallelujah. So his disciples walked with him for many years, but then still did not develop love. Even though he saw Jesus was moved by love. Everything Jesus did, he would did, he moved by love. Amen. When he saw the 5,000, his disciples says, yes, send them away. That's somebody with love. They ain't got no love. Why you send them away? And then the devil, they can die. But Jesus said, no, 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 no. Don't send them away. Don't send him away, don't send him away. Don't send him away, don't send him away. And they go, hey amen, and a little lad, a little child out of bread. She's okay, come on, bring it, bring it. Bring the bread. I'm sending these folks away. We won't glory to the God. Amen. Without feeding them. You see, that's love. Love will create ways to help folks. Talk to me, somebody. You can't love somebody and then you know they're in hell and you just sitting down and you said like you're some kind of God. You sitting down and uh, I can sit, I can sit from the Bible, yes, sir. Amen. Sitting down and like you some some kind of God and you judge it. Uh -huh. you judge. No, no. Love calls you to intervene on their behalf. Come on. And this is what this what makes faith work. When love, when faith has been moved by love, not moved by my opposition, but moved by love. Come on, somebody. Because I love you and I can't stand to feel and not to become My God. Hallelujah. Can't stand to see you gone and out. Can't stand see you to be defeated can't stand and see you they man sickness and depressed uh -oh. so we'll try to get some not on that plan but I'm gonna let some service come on somebody oh my god we like this one we become so proper Lord I send you word over the house right now and God says you need to go to the house to open the door and you got the word you gotta walk in town and not come why don't walk that way right to the house I said, you know what? Not only I said I love you in words, but I'm getting ready to show them give you what you need me to do. Come on, somebody. What you need me to do. Because love will bring you in a service. Love will give service to those that need help. And that's what Jesus did. He brings service to them. And that's what caused the faith to be activated. And he talks about blindness. He says, the man, the little boy, he was spiritually blind. He was spiritually blind. Why? From the God of this world has blinded his mind and has possessed him. So he could not have faith for himself. I told my wife, I said, God forbid, if I am a on uh, my sick bed and they say when I'm going to die I said honey you make sure who come in that room don't let anybody come in this room come on sure no good hey man come away celebrating going away party when God can rise me up hey, now, you got to get folks that love pastor enough that he would have a rest of fast and pray uh, we gonna fast and pray with you first, lady. We gonna pray. We gonna pray and tell God rise up our father. And God gonna rise up my my spiritual father. And God gonna rise up for hey, my pastor, amen. amen. Because love, service. Yes. You will count 
some things that you was doing just to bring service. You see what I'm saying? Because that, that is love. That is love. Love and go, my God. Love and cause 